working guard this week. We're gonna work uh, first put in a single leg position, single leg X, whatever call that was for the foot lock. And uh, from there we're gonna start work some X part two. But uh, different ways to, to get to this position. We're gonna start off here. Let's say if you're leading with one leg up front, if you stand with, you're gonna hook the leg. Okay, like a little butterfly. You're gonna sit like a butterfly swim. And you're gonna initiate like a butterfly swim, which is this movement over here. Once I get this here, we're gonna hug the leg, right? You don't need to grab nothing for it all. Just make sure they stay tight here, <coughs> right? And uh, sometimes if you step up, if you step here deep, you're not gonna be able to get the, the hook. Make sure that you, you're already shooting for this hook, driving forward to this, or if you step in, boom, you get your hook. You guys understand? It's better initiate than actually allow him to get to your guard. And sometimes if you get this one here, you're gonna get the knee in your chest, it's gonna be hard to stop him. But you need this hook here. Got it? Okay. okay. Once I have this, I'm gonna fall to my shoulder. As I'm falling to the shoulder, this side is gonna grab his pants over the side here. Grab the ankle. I like, if you have the pants, of course, if it's a gi, grab the, the pants here down the bottom. Okay, then just you don't put your fingers inside. I'm gonna raise his leg much as I can. He's lying out. Not much weight in this leg, most weight in this leg here because you lower his weight on this side, right? I'm gonna pull here and get to this. As soon as he face me, look what he's doing. Was if he face, most likely he's gonna try face to get a hold, get a good base. And that's the beginning of my guard. Put him in this position. And from this here, you're gonna see the options you're gonna have, okay? Now, once he face here, I want to start treading him all the way. See how he's going to react with his base. I'm going to twist my, my hip inside his knee. It's not just this. Raise your hip. You go this and this here. As you fall, you have a few options over here. One straight foot lock, which, which is the ones you're going to focus right now, or get on top of him. You're going to explain this. What I mean, get on top of him or try foot lock him. Right? Okay. Once I land this, I want to curve my body as much as possible. You, you need to spend less time as possible in a, in a position like this, because especially with the gi. If you don't put heel hooks, if you don't put a, a ripping, uh, you, you want to make sure you wrap the foot as soon as you land here. If you spend too much time, you can see more, you actually take a swim on your favor than actually the, the foot lock position. The gi can play a favor for him too, right? Go grab the collar, grab the sleeve, start, yes. Go like this, but if I have this, if I have this, it, it can wrap the foot, then I'll let it go to this leg here. I'm gonna keep him, I'm gonna take his best escape from this. Let's try to get on top, back to on top of me. Take this leg away from him, make stuff for him to defend. But if I land this, I feel like, you know what, I can foot lock him, he's not defending well, I, go, I can let it go this, this grip here to help me to start attacking the foot. Look what I do. How you, you, how you know you have a good foot lock or not? Because it's hard to see, huh? It's a feeling. Uh, the feeling is, uh, I can feel his heel is inside of my rib here. It's about to come out, his foot's about to come out. That's the best one. Because you're gonna hyperextend his foot, you're gonna hurt his Achilles, and then you're gonna hyperextend the foot, like I said. Okay, I feel the foot here, this. Oh. To make even tighter, what do you do? I'm gonna slide my elbow right underneath my rib cage, this. I just go arch my back here. Boom. It's this. Sometimes you go like this and going straight back like this, help him. You're going to take the, this pressure out. Is that the one's going to keep him? If it goes like this, see, he can come up. You, you want to make sure they twisted his knee the way that if you, if you bend the knee, it makes it tougher for him to put my weight over this side of my hip to get up, right? And it's more pressure to an end. Boom. And like what I, I mentioned, is that uh, once you take the the foot lock, or uh, once you get on top of him, right? Uh, we learned that uh, that bottom position. Once you get here, is a bad position for you. You, you see it as a bad position. But once you start, uh, if I start attack him, I feel I have the position. Of course, I'm gonna start attack his foot. But if it feels like I have a chance to get on top of him. I'm gonna take the, the, the chance to get on top of him too, right? Any, any time that you say chance to super guy get on top, like in a fight, right? If you get up in the bottle, 
you're gonna find a way to survive from the bottom, find a way to get up from the bottom, find a way to reverse the position, and, and or find a way to submit him. The sequence doesn't come like this. A lot of times, uh, attack the foot lock is that's what it left for you to take this guy out of top position, right? You get in a, in a, in a position, the body starts striking you, you, you find a way to get the foot here, start attacking the foot. A lot of times you see that attack his foot as a way out to survive from the bottom. You understand? Sure. But a lot of times you play the game, of grappling here, and we can be more methodical, can be more patient, right? But sometimes you're gonna see this. Some guys are gonna react more stick with the, what they have here. And some guys, every time they have a chance to, to get on top of someone, they will get on top of someone. And I can be even more technical to get on top of him. Okay? If, let's say if you hold, hold my call to defend. And uh, like I said, if I'm not ripping, if I'm not heel hook him, take a lot of the tools for me to, to finish him. If I have, probably gonna have just straight foot lock. If they get this, I still have an option to, to get this position over here, right? And I have to, we can work a few options over here, but let, let's stick with just the straight foot lock of this side before I start working this one. Or you can take a leg drag position to get on top of him. Do you understand? Sure. Again, if this is going to count for, is a, can be methodical on the bottom, start working for the foot lock, or he has a good defense, I'm a hurry about time, I want to get on top of this guy. And then you have the option to do it stand. Yes, it, a lot of times it's a pick and choose <coughs> for you. Again, go test, boom. Engage here, start going to the side. I want to fall, reach out for this leg away. It's going to help me a lot. This, elevate the leg. Watch my knee. Active leg. My leg's not like this. Okay? It's this knee. I need both legs to make sure that it's not going to uh, escape from this. What do I mean, escape? Holding this leg will help a lot because the two major escape head here is a uh, stepping back, which is you cannot do anymore. It goes like this, step back. To the, yeah. So I walk step back here to pass my guard, right? If you hold the leg, you cannot do it. And even this one that I was holding, if you try to come forward now, well, that grip helped me too. Take a lot of his mobility to stop. Put his weight on top of me. Okay, well, again, once you get this, testing his base. This should be enough to sweep him. Because you take his his base out. If I was like just like this, once I go like this, step back this leg. You see it? Boom. He has that the base. But if you hold the pants here, it should help him to stop this. Cool. But again, hips forward. This. Curve your body more. Don't start off from this here. You move closer to here, you're gonna have a better grip to hold you tight, right? No, like this. Like I said, if I if I get to this here, stop, stop pulling me. Yeah. I can take two. As a sweep, if it feels like I'm stuck there on the, on the guard. But if I can land here, I better. Ooh, that was a tight one. Okay, again, <laughs> look this. Just, just go like. It's just if you stop, if he's not moving, he's gonna tap. I can feel, yeah, pressure. But that bent the leg, ooh, yeah. <laughs> it's way tighter. <laughs> Make sure you're doing this here. Okay, that's super important. Like this, if you manipulate this knee, push this knee away. Yeah, yeah. See, it's gonna start coming up on top of me. But then knee come twisted, like tie like this, and grip for this hand. You can grab far grip uh, call, which is the best one. Even your grip here, it's good to keep blade your wrist like this. Don't let go too deep. See that I also have this. What I'm doing here, I'm doing this. I'm not doing this here. If I get this, too much cushion on my forearm. You want to blade the wrist around his, to stretch his Achilles. Does it make sense? Mm -hmm. Sir. Stay like this, right. if I have near grip, or even this one here for no gear. This one works for, for gear too, but you need that grip. Sometimes just this hand here, once you start arch your back, I, I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna be able to keep this. If it goes like this, my hand's gonna drop. If I hold that, the, this, the, the wrist, help to keep my wrist straight, push against his Achilles. Do you understand? Get a grip for this hand. Again, this, this, or even this. I don't like much this one because I take blade my wrist around his, his Achilles. This one here. But this one, like a guillotine grip, oh, this one helps a lot. Oh yeah. Got it? Mix it up. Let's go, guys.